Math Warriors, welcome to a, another video brought to you by GED Talk. In this video, we are going to take a look at how your data key can help you with some of the problems that you might see on the math exam. If you like this video, please make sure you give us a thumbs up and check out some of the other videos that we share with you on how you can use the TI-30XS on the different GED exams. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example of what you might see on the exam and how the data key can help you. So the example on the screen says, given the expression 4x squared minus 3 times y plus 6, choose the answer that will result in a value of negative 11. And so obviously uh, many of you have probably already learned that you can take Take the different uh, options or answer choices they give you and substitute them into the expression in order to see which one gives you negative 11. And so that is an option you can do. You can also store the values for x and y. That is another video that we share with you on how to store those values for x and y um, for other variables as well um, to solve problems. But for this one, we're going to take a look at how the data key can help. And so um, we are going to go ahead and press the data key because we need to start entering information. So the data key is the second, or I'm sorry, yes, the second row, third column where you'll see it. And we're going to press that and you'll notice there are three different lists, L1, L2, and L3. We're going to use L1 to enter the X values, L2 will be used to enter the Y values, and L3 is where we're going to input that formula that we see on our screen for the example. So um, I need to start entering that information. So as I mentioned, L1 gets all of the X values. So I'm going to enter two, press enter, negative two, press enter, negative one, press enter, and then one, press enter. Once those values are in there, use your arrow key, your right arrow key to move over to L2. L2 will be used for my Y values. So it's the corresponding Y value as well. So this first one will be three, press enter, four, two, and zero. And once those values are in there, we need to get over to L3, which is where we're going to enter this expression that we see on the screen. So let's use the right arrow to move over to L3, and it's time for us to enter that formula. So what you need to do now, because you're entering a formula, is press your data key and then use the right arrow to move over to formula so it's highlighted in black. And that first option we have, add edit formula, is what we want. So we're going to press the enter key. And now notice your cursor is at the bottom flashing because it's ready for you to enter the expression. Remember, we entered the X values in L1, Y values in L2. So when we enter the expression, we're not entering 4X squared minus 3Y plus 6. We're going to enter 4L1 squared minus 3 times L2 plus 6. So let's take a look at how we do that. So my... Um, cursor is flashing, I'm going to go ahead and start entering the first part, which is 4. x squared, I don't want x squared, I, I can't do that. It, the calculator won't know what I'm doing. So I'm going to actually use um, parentheses. I like to, anything that's squared, I like to have parentheses around it. Um, so 4, open parentheses, data key, L1, which is that first option, press enter squared, close your parentheses, minus three open parentheses. I'm not going to type Y. I'm going to use data key and I'm going to select the second option, which is L2, because remember Y um, values were entered into L2. Press the enter key, plus six, close that parentheses and press enter and then all of the different um, 
values from the L1, L2 list, your X and your Y are right here in L3. So the example asks which one of the answer choices will result in a value of negative 11 and we can see right up here that first uh, choice that we put in where x equals 2, y equals 3 gave us the value of negative 11. So as I mentioned, um, if you would rather do this, um, you know, manually where you're using the marker and the dry erase board that you get when you take the math exam to substitute, by all means, do it that way. If you would rather input the values by hand, um, or I'm sorry, with the calculator one by one, then by all means, you could do that as well. This was an awesome example because our answer choice is the first one. So if you did do this by hand, or even if you simply used your calculator to substitute the value of X and Y, then you you got lucky because it's the first answer choice. Um, but as I mentioned, if you are just looking for different ways that the calculator can help um, solve some of these equations, this is another way that you can use the calculator um, and using that data key is helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and check out some of the other videos that we've shared with you brought to you by GED Talk.